on live, but there was a malfunction with the system. We are seven days from the Revelation 12 constellation alignment that matches the biblical narrative in Revelation 12. It will happen September 23rd, 2017. As I woke this morning, the Lord came to me in prayer and says, seven days, just like in the days of Noah, the door is open. So I began to quickly just grab a Bible and here's what the Lord led me to. Genesis chapter one, verse 14. God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. Let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. The Lord reminded me that these total solar eclipse of August 21st until the next total solar eclipse that cuts across America, which is on April the 8th, 2024, is just short of seven years. The Lord says to me, that is the seven year season of the Antichrist. In other words, the Antichrist is going to begin to rise, moving up in the ranks, getting himself in position to take power. Once he takes power, he will give complete authority to 10 kings that he will choose, and they will be given power from the beast in one hour. The Lord revealed to me that will happen at a UN General Assembly gathering in New York City. And the Lord revealed to me that the reason the second eclipse going by in uh, August the 8th, 2024, will be going through New York State. It will be cutting across America and it will be in this seven year window what the Lord is showing the rise of the Antichrist or the Antichrist season. Doesn't mean the Antichrist is gonna be in power in the next seven years. Doesn't mean that. And I, even, I didn't even get that impression. The impression I totally got from the Lord was he would be make. I could see it in the spirit. I could see him making his maneuvers in the ranks. But God revealed to me Noah and the seven days. The door is open. So I went to the scripture. It's Genesis chapter seven, verse one. And the Lord said unto Noah, come thou and all thy house into the ark. For thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Now, of course, the animals start to go in and there were seven of every clean beast and, uh, and two that were not clean, okay, as they went into the ark. But look at verse four, for yet seven days and I will cause it to rain upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights and every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. Now, God's not going to destroy the world in seven days, but he is going to give a prophetic sign. It is definitely a prophetic sign. It is a sign from God. It is God who is making the sign in the heavens with the stars, his constellation, and they match the revelation he gave John uh, on the Isle of Patmos some 2,000 years ago, and it's written in Revelation 12. Then the Lord spoke to me and said, do you understand the 10 horns? And of course, I had to go digging fast. I've got my, sure, I've read it many, many times. The Lord says, go to Revelation, excuse me, go to Daniel chapter seven and read about the 10 horns. So I begin to read, and it's Daniel 7, 7. After this, I saw in night visions and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth. It devoured and break in pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. It had 10 horns. The Lord said, the formation of the 10 kings is in process. And I considered the horns, Daniel said. And behold, there came up among them another little horn. And before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of a man and the mouth speaking great things. Now, turn your Bible, if you will, 
to the book of Revelation. How, the ten horns, they're like a governing council. The Lord showed me the United Nations. When the September 23rd constellation is in alignment, there's two great wonders going to happen that night. First, the woman. She is clothed with the sun. The moon is under her feet. So she has authority over pagan gods. She is clothed with the sun. She has the 12 tribes or the 12 stars in her crown. And she's giving birth to the man child. When the body of Christ, of course, comes from Israel. We know Jesus Christ, the Messiah, comes from Israel. And then, of course, we are his body. And, of course, the, then he says, I see another wonder in heaven. Let's read it in, in Revelation 12 and verse 3. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And of course, they are the names of blasphemy. Now go to Revelation 13, verse 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea. I saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. And upon those horns, upon his horns were ten crowns, their kings. And upon his heads the name blasphemy. Then the Lord today said to me, go to Revelation 15. So I did. And when I went to Revelation 15, uh, excuse me, Revelation 17, uh, I went to Revelation 17 and the Lord revealed to me the 10 horns again. And he said this in verse one, Revelation 17, verse one. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, he talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, and I will show thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. And the waters, of course, are the people. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. And so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman set up on a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy. This is the same beast that John saw in Revelation 13. This is the same beast that John saw in Revelation 12 in the constellational proclamation or announcement from heaven. This is the same beast that Daniel saw in the seventh chapter of the book of Daniel. He sees him again and this time he sees the seven heads, the ten horns. And we're beginning to see that the woman's arrayed and she's arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls and having a golden cup in her hand full of the abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was the name written, Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered in great admiration. And the angel said to me, wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carries her which have the seven heads and the ten horns. And then he goes on to say in verse 9, And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are the seven mountains on which this woman sitteth. This is a global, one world government. And there are seven kings, five are fallen, one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. So there's going to be a transitional period. The beast that was and is not even is the eighth and is of the seven and goeth into perdition or into hell. So we know he's the son of perdition. We know he is the Antichrist. And then verse 12, and 10 horns which thou sawest are 10 kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but receiveth power 
as kings one hour with the beast. So the, the Lord was revealing to me that on Revelation 12, he is going to make a heavenly proclamation that it's the beast, the season, the proclamation that we're in the season of the Antichrist. The formation is in process. And guess what? The very night, Revelation, September 23rd, the United Nations will have been in a seven day meetings, which is starting on September 19th. They go into what, seven days of debating. They've already started the General Assembly, but on September 19th, it's the seven days of, de of debate. And the first day, President Donald Trump will speak and address the United Nations on September 19th. And then there'll be other people speaking. And on Saturday, they were still in process. Now, in other words, the kings of the world are gathering in New York. This, can I just read, what are they gonna talk about? Let me just tell you, who knows what all is gonna be discussed, but here's their proclamation. Here is what they're saying. The, their theme, what they want to do. The General Assembly will be will, will kick off on Tuesday and they run through September 25th. But the part of the General Assembly that most New Yorkers are familiar with is the general debate when many world leaders come to town. This begins Tuesday, September 19th. This year marks the 72nd session of the UN General Assembly. And the general debate's theme is this, focusing on people. How? By, quote, striving for peace and a decent life for all on a sustainable planet. They're, in other words, they want peace and security. They're striving for peace and a decent life for everyone on a sustainable planet. Planet. Now, there's a lot in that sentence. If you was to see all the different committees, folks, who are the 10 kings? We know who the Antichrist is going to be. He's the son of perdition. He's going to come on the scene. He's the little horn. But who are the 10 kings that he chooses? They're gathering. They're starting to gather. I'm not saying that they're... I'm not saying that they are... 10 current presidents of 10 different countries right now. And I'm not saying they're not. I'm telling you now, you're, in, you're entering into the season of the Antichrist, the beginning formation. And God said to me plainly that between this eclipse and the next eclipse, and there's a reason the second eclipse goes through America because it, it, cuts, it, also does, it does cut through New York. Not New York City, but it does cut through New York, quite a big piece of New York. It cuts through there. Cuts through Indiana too. That's, but it's the seven year period between these two great solar eclipses and the fact that in New York, the world is gathering. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Uh, the Lord also said to me, there'd be seven great, seven great apocalyptic events that are going to happen to be watching for the seven apocalyptic events. And also the Lord said to me that he was going to bless the body of Christ, that he was going to bless seven times more than ever before, that he is going to sustain us and that he is going to nourish us and he is going to take care of us and bless us during this season. This isn't the, I'm not saying this isn't Jacob's troubles. I'm not saying this is the great tribulation period. That isn't what the Lord said to me. The Lord said to me, this is the season of the beginning of, the rise of the Antichrist. He's moving into position. He's moving in through the ranks. He's making the connections. He may have already been a king or a president, or he might even currently be one. But he is moving into position. And the 10 kings, the Lord said to me, you need to keep your eyes open for the 10 kings that are going to be make, making up this world council of the beast. But he said, Tell the church not to have any fear. Have no fear at all. No fear at all. In other words, celebrate. Rejoice. Because look up. Lift up your head. Your redemption is drawing nigh. Okay? 
And even during this this seven-year season of the Antichrist, the church is going to go through maybe one of the greatest harvests of revival in history. And I plan on standing right in the middle of it and being a part of it. And I believe God has sent you to help me do it. We're going to do it together with others. This is going to be uh, this is what the body of Christ, this is, our, this is what it's about, folks. This is our finest moment. I know the Antichrist is coming. We all have known that our whole life. What you didn't know, what I didn't know, is that we'd be living in the time right now of the greatest harvest in history. So the door is open now. We're within the seven-day door now. The proclamation is about to be made. I wonder what will happen on September 23rd. I mean, I wonder if there'll be a certain announcement made at the United Nations that day, or will there be a certain event, or will Kim Jong-un shoot another missile off, or, or will there be something else? I don't know. But write these things down. Seven years, the season of the Antichrist, there will be seven apocalyptic events, a time of sorrow for many, okay? But, uh, but also a great, great period of the church.